Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to use command in the iMod in Linux shell. So already let's get started. So as you have seen in one of my previous videos, you can actually move your shell into the iMod. So to do that, you can take a look at my previous video. So here I'm on my bash shell. So let's turn this to the I mode. So in order to do that, I will type the command set minus O and the I. Here we go. Now I am by default in my insert mode. So I can type any command I want. So let's, for example, make a small script. For example, loop for I N. Let's say 0 to 6. We'll do just a simple script, for example, to echo just variable i. And finally, done. Okay, so now before actually pressing the enter key, remember I'm still on insert mode in vi. Okay, so this time instead of pressing the enter key, I will just press the escape key so let's press the escape key here we go so you can see now that i am on the command mode because i have actually pressed the escape key and also the cursor has moved to the last character of my script which is the e character okay so now i'm going to press the hash key Okay, so let's press this hash key here. Et voila, as you can see now, I have turned my entire line into a command. Okay, and also this command is being put in the history of my shell. So I can recall it whenever I want. So with just this little trick, you can turn any long command into a command so why this is useful so let's say for example you are typing long long command and you remember that you have to check something so instead of actually moving to what you have done to do checks and forget what you have typed it you can just put the whole command into a command and put it in your history so you can when you have finished your check you can Recall this long line and just uncomment it and et voila. So let's say for example they want to actually recall my command so I can type whenever shortcut I want. So I will just use the up key in my keyboard. Here we go. So now remember I'm still on the command mode so I can move to the first character by using just the zero in my keyboard it has moved to the first character so i can use the x in order to delete the command x here we go now i can type it now i can actually execute my command using the enter key here we go so i have actually executed the line that i have typed before okay so just remember to be using the command Command is your friend whenever you are typing lawn command or lawn script as you have seen here. But of course you have to be in VI mode so you have to set it at the beginning before entering any command. As always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.